has it been a long time since I uploaded a video to this channel? It's because I haven't been doing any scale modeling. Um, I think I started this project actually over a year ago and it literally sat in a tub right in front of me, by the way. It's not very far away. It's not like put on a shelf out of the way. I can see it every day. Um, and it's just been sitting there because I just, I've just been so busy with Warhammer uh, modeling lately that I haven't had time to do any of the else. Well, right now my 40k modeling is pretty much all caught up. I mean, I spent the entire summer painting an entirely new army, basically. Or new uh, detachment of my 40k army. So, um, finally getting back to this a little bit. Um, got some primer done. I had to do some black spray paint, so I decided to go ahead and spray the frame with Tester's Flat Black. And while I was at it, I sprayed the engine. I sprayed primer on all the body color parts. Um, and so today I spent the entire day, I weathered up the engine. Actually, this is um, a GW Everland Sunset. And then the wash is actually a black watercolor wash, which I was able to modulate and uh, make it look just right. Then I added some weathering, especially exhaust manifold, especially came out pretty, pretty well. So on, the rest, on the rust effects, so I'm pretty happy with that. Um, then I got the wheels assembled, which by the way, was not an easy project. <laughs> with all the little bits and cleaning up and then having to, to clean up the chrome with uh, the, the Molotov pens uh, to get the chrome back from cleaning off the uh, flashing and um, sprue points. But yeah, finally got the wheels attached. They all do roll still, so I'm pretty happy about that. I was going to rust up the brake drums, um, but then I realized you're just never going to see them, so I didn't bother. And so there's not, I mean, so we made pretty good progress on this thing. The uh, uh, tail lights need to be done, um, mud flaps will be done, and then I can start spraying the body color. Uh, yeah, do some wet sanding on the primers on there lightly, of course, because there's so many little rivets on that cab. But the color I've just chosen is going to be um, this one. This is Model Master Acrylic Italian Red. So basically, Ferrari Red. Uh, is the color of this thing going to be. I think it's going to look pretty spectacular uh, with a nice lacquer gloss over it. Uh, I got Model Master's uh, lacquer gloss in a bottle instead of a spray can. So I'll try it through the airbrush, which doesn't mean going out and buying some lacquer thinner. Um, I made the mistake of buying a bottle of Tester's lacquer thinner, which is a little tiny bottle for five bucks when I can get a big giant can of lacquer thinner for five bucks from any car parts store. So um, I won't do that again. That's for sure. Lacquer thinner is lacquer thinner doesn't have to be model specific. Um, so yeah, so what's going to be the body color is of course the cab, which looks awesome now that it's sitting on here. But this thing is just giant. It barely fits in the frame. And I got the two fuel tanks are going to be body color. And the two front mud flaps and maybe... Maybe the exhaust supports that go... I think they go right, like right here. Like that, they might be body color too, or no, no, I might just paint them um, black. You said yet. So, yeah, that's where we get. I mean, I spent probably a good portion of, the, of today, so several. I watch a while watching football, so I'd probably say at least six hours um, between finishing up the weathering on the engine, getting the engine mounted, uh, getting the radiator mounted in the right place. Let me tell you, the instructions for this thing is ho are horrible. They don't really tell you where anything goes, so. Um, got this one tube down here which was for the oil cooler, but there's no oil cooler on that side So it's just kind of sitting there out in out in space. It doesn't make any sense to me um, But it's there should be on the other side because that's where the oil cooler pipe is on the oil pit. But anyway, I digress And then so I got all that weathering done um, and then I of course then I had to go through and clean up the wheels get all the wheels assembled and put them on the truck so well, several hours of work actually <laughs> trying to get all this done. So next part is to guess is to, to wet sand down the primer a little bit on the um, body components and get that sprayed. Oh, and then I have to decide what color I'm going to do the interior. I suppose I should spray that before I spray the outside. That's a very good point. I should do that. So I'm probably going to do a gray for the interior just like I usually do because I think gray and red will go well, well together. And uh, Yeah, so I'll make some progress on this in the next couple weeks, and I'll hopefully get another video uploaded soon um, with some red paint on it. Or maybe. 
yeah, I should probably do it all at the same time. I was thinking about just doing these parts here first just to get the chassis assembled. Because there's still some assemblies to do on the chassis. Um, like most of it. I mean, most of the assembly is the chassis. Because all, like, all the exhaust and all the other little bits and everything are all separate from the cab. So the cab can tilt up. Even the, the stick shift for the transmission goes through here. Goes, goes right here. And um, it goes up through a hole in the bottom of the interior. So that doesn't even go in there. So once the chassis is assembled, there's very little left of the model. Just the just like the seats and the dashboard and then the body color. And that's it. So yeah, these things are going to get um, done quickly. So any questions, let me know. I'm very happy I've made progress on this. I'm very happy it rolls and it's going to look awesome uh, once it's done. Thanks for watching.